Thank you for the introduction. Hello, everyone. Uh, this talk is about the design methodology for a steel C parametric Trojan and its application to bug attacks. This is a joint work with Georg Becker, Daniel Holcomb, and Christoph Parr. Hardware Trojan gets a lot of attention these days. Many potential attacks uh, vector, there are many potential attacks vector uh, such as malicious employees or malicious IC design company under uh, government pressure or third party IP course. A small changes at certain points of the circuit can break or weaken crypto. For example, in uh, 2013, Baker uh, had a paper. Uh, they uh, proposed a hardware Trojan methodology and they uh, evaluated its effect on the Intel random number generator. Uh, or in 2008, Biham and Shamir had a paper about bug attack. Uh, they showed that um, uh, decryption cipher text on any computer uh, that uh, computes uh, at least for one pair of numbers incorrectly, attacker use that to um, leak the secret key. So these small changes uh, can be secret disaster. So why do we trust our chips to uh, work correct things? They seem to uh, um, do right things uh, for a practical number of operations. Uh, for example, floating point division uh, um, bug, which was a computer uh, bug uh, and affected the floating point division unit of a former Intel processor, uh, was a very extremely rare, rare bug uh, and was discovered accidentally. Uh, also, the logic gates of our chip appear correct. In this work, we will show that if, uh, if uh, the logic gates of our chip appear correct and um, they do right things most of the times, a uh, Trojan can still exist. Uh, in this talk, first I introduce the work, then I'll talk about the past delay fault. Uh, then I'll um, introduce our proposed method uh, for uh, creating a still C pass delay fault, uh, which consists of uh, two main phases, pass selection and delay distribution along these selected paths. Uh, then I'll talk about the bug attack on ECDH protocol. At the end, I conclude the work. Why we design Trojan? Uh, Trojan detection and um, um, Trojan design are closely related. To propose effective uh, Trojan detection methodology, we need to know that how hardware Trojan can be built. In this work, we examine how um, still C parametric Trojan can be introduced in a given target circuit. Uh, this is a, a motivating example, bug attacks. Um, <laughs> Assume RSA digital signature is running on a server or an embedded um, device. The, custom, the uh, client send message M to the server and server computes the RSA signature and then send back it uh, to the uh, client. But if uh, there is a fault in a multiplication during the exponentiation of m to power of k modulo n, uh, the attacker can easily use this uh, bug and um, uh, leaks the secret key k by uh, using Chinese reminder theorem. This bug attack was uh, showed by Shamir and Biham in 2008, but uh, they didn't talk about how we can implement such multiplier. Uh, so the research challenge here is low-level manipulation of integer multiplier so that it uh, results a correct output for almost all inputs, but it results slightly in inaccurate results for extremely rare inputs. We focus on this uh, challenge in this work. The stock at fault model um, are not uh, good for uh, still see hardware torsion because they are not rare and uh, can be easily detected. But we think that past delay fault model are good for still see hardware torsion. Uh, we said that a circuit has a delay pass uh, fault if there is a pass in a circuit from a primary output to a primary. Um, from a primary input to a primary output, that the circuit is uh, slow to uh, propagate a transition on this pass. Uh, in this example, I want to show a pass delay fault on the red pass. Uh, in the uh, delay fault, we need to uh, propagate a transition, so we need to have two test vectors. 
the table um, shows a two test vector uh, that uh, create a rising transition at the input of the red pass. If there is no fault on the pass, uh, at the correct output, we will see a falling transition from one to zero. But if there is a delay fault on this pass, uh, the faulty output uh, remains uh, at the uh, level one and we cannot see transition at the output. Two main properties uh, for a viable delay-based trojan are uh, triggerability and stillness. Triggerability means that for secret inputs which are known to the attacker, trojan results in an error with, um, uh, uh, with very high probability. Stillness means for randomly chosen inputs, the trojan results an error with extremely low probability. We try to introduce a hardware trojan with these two properties. Now I'm going to talk about our method for creating a still see uh, past delay part. This is the flowchart of our proposed method, which consists two main phases. The first phase is past selection, and the second one is delay distribution. In the first phase, which is pass selection, we search the circuit and uh, find a um, rarely sensitized pass. We use controllability and observability metrics to guide our pass selection algorithm, uh, and we use sat based check to ensure about triggerability of our selected uh, rare pass. In the second phase, which is delay distribution, uh, we decide where on the rail pass we should add the delay. We need to be careful at this step because adding delay may uh, cause error on other pass. We use genetic algorithm to smartly uh, distribute the delay over the gates of the selected rail pass. First, I talk about the first phase, which is finding a rarely sensitized pass. First, we initialize pass B with a um, hard to trigger node. Then we extend this pass backward until reaching a primary input. Then we uh, go forward until reaching a primary output. At each step, we use a stat check to ensure about triggerability of the selected rare pass. Also, the stat check returns us a pair input, which is poison input and can be used as a trigger for the fault later by the attacker. Here is an example for our pass selection algorithm. We consider a subset of uh, three bit Wallace stream multiplier. The table reports the controllability and observability of all nodes uh, of this sub circuit. Um, first, we need to find a hard to trigger node to initialize uh, our rare pass. So, uh, node 12 is added to the rare pass with falling transition as the initial point. Then we go. Uh, backward until reaching a primary input. To extend node 12, we had two options, node 9 and uh, node uh, 11. Uh, we choose node 11 based on a um, um, criteria for difficulty of justification, a transition uh, uh, we introduced in the paper. Uh, um, then uh, between 6 and 8, uh, node uh, 6 is chosen, and uh, then node 3, and then node one. And note that at each step, set check uh, is used to ensure about the triggerability of the uh, selected rare pass. The next step is going forward until reaching a primary output. The only option we have at this step is node 13. Then between node 14 and 15, node for, um, 14 is selected, but uh, at this uh, step, uh, when we use a uh, check set, uh, it returns unsatisfiable. It means that uh, our selected pass is not triggerable. So we go back and select uh, uh, our another option, which is uh, node 15. So node 15 is added to the rail pass with a rising transition. And this is our selected rail pass. Uh, to evaluate uh, our pass selection algorithm, we compare the stillness of our selected ray pass with uh, 750 random pass of a 32-bit Wallace stream multiplier. The figure reports the error rate of all these uh, passes. If we zoom in, uh, we can see the error rate of our selected ray pass. So our pass selection algorithm 
uh, finds a path that is much rarer than the random search. Uh, I explained the first phase, now I'm going to uh, explain the second phase, which is delay distribution. In the delay distribution, a delay of the uh, selected rare path is uh, increase so that um, it will exceed the clock period and cause an error when the pass is triggered. But the question is that where on the pass to increase the delay? We need to be careful at this step because of the still seenness problem. Adding a delay uh, on the rare pass uh, may cause uh, errors on other pass uh, that are intersecting or overlapping uh, with our rare pass. In our work, we want to minimize this problem. We use genetic algorithm to um, distribute um, smartly the delay over the selected um, rare pass uh, so that a pass delay fault um, uh, occurs um, uh, and trigger with poison inputs, but uh, it is not triggered with the randomly input. The fitness function of the genetic algorithm is empirical uh, probability from a, a simulation of causing an error where random inputs are applied uh, to the circuit. Here is a simple example for our delay distribution method. Uh, uh, assume we want to distribute a delay of 30 units on the red pass. If um, we don't use uh, the genetic algorithm, what solution can be like this? Uh, after fault simulation with random test vector, the error probability is 0 0.022. But if we use our, genetic, uh, our delay distribution method based on genetic algorithm, the probability of uh, error detection is 0 0.016. To uh, evaluate our delay distribution uh, method, we apply this method on the ray pass and nine other best random pass in a 32-bit Wallace stream multiplier. Uh, we distribute uh, 3,276 picosecond on all these uh, passes. The green bar reports the error rate when we uniformly distribute the delay over these paths, and the orange bar reports the error rate uh, when we use uh, our delay distribution method. As you can see, uh, for all these paths, the genetic algorithm uh, reduced the error rate about 3.5 times. And um, as you can see, the genetic algorithm uh, reduced the number of faults uh, while it's not affecting triggerability, it means our rape has still a uh, triggerable by the poison inputs. This is our overall evaluation. Um, here we distribute a delay of 2,530 picosecond on the selected ray pass and we count how many times the circuit exceeds the critical pass delay, which is 2,520. Uh, first, we um, distribute uniformly the delay over the selected ray pass, and then we used uh, our delay distribution algorithm. When we use uh, our uni um, when we use uniformly delay distribution, the error probability uh, is three ten thousands. But when uh, we use uh, our delay distribution method, the error probability is less than two to the power of minus twenty six. We obtain zero fault detection out of uh, 260 million random test vector. A uh, clock period usually significantly longer than the critical pass delay. In the next experiment, we consider a different uh, clock period. Uh, in this experiment, we want to show that if the delay of the rare pass far exceeds the um, critical pass delay, um, again, errors are uh, very rare. And this uh, figure reports the error rate uh, when the delay of the rare pass is increasing for um, a different clock period. The second table reports the result uh, when the uh, clock period is 2,800 and the delay of the rare pass is 2,150. At this case, the error probability is 2 to the power of minus 25. And as you can see, the error is still is very rare. So, we have a, a still C triggerable fault for bug attack. And now I'm talking about bug attack on ECDH protocol. This is ECDH algorithm. 
uh, as you can see, first client CN server S uh, selects the secret keys, then they compute the mm, public keys and exchange uh, it, uh, and then they compute the join uh, keys. Uh, the main idea of bug attack is that uh, the attacker sent a poisonous point QC to the server so that an error occurs uh, if, if the most significant unknown uh, bit is zero or one. Uh, the attacker learns one key bit per message. But the problem is that the handshake uh, of the ECDH protocol needs to be completed uh, to detect the error. Also, the uh, point QC cannot be chosen randomly. Therefore, the attack complexity is very hard to find a, a good point for QC. Uh, to solve this problem, uh, we, mm, we target Montgomery ladder step and we uh, introduce one-time only pre-computation step. In this step, uh, we uh, pre-compute the good points for QC because we know that uh, what is the mm, poison inputs from our past selection algorithm and from our set check. Uh, so uh, we can compute good uh, mm, points for QC. Uh, so based on this uh, pre-computation step, the attack complexity um, become very good. Uh, this is uh, the attack complexity. We target 256 bit ECDH with Montgomery ladder scalar multiplication. The table reports the pre-computation complexity, a storage requirement, and attack complexity for three different failure probability. And this is the conclusion of the work. Uh, we introduced a new type of uh, parametric hardware Trojan based on rarely synthesized past delay fault. We present a stat-based uh, algorithm to search the circuit for find an uh, extremely rare uh, pass, and we present a delay distribution method using genetic algorithm. We modify a 32-bit uh, multiplier so that it results uh, slightly faulty output for extremely rare inputs, and uh, we talk about bug attack against ECDH implementation. Thank you. Thank you very much.